What's up guys? I'm back here at Nunica Cemetery. I thought I'd do a daytime session today, so stay tuned. Maybe spooky season, but one West Michigan man is used to seeing mysteries all year round. I met up with a professional paranormal investigator for a ghost hunt and we actually experienced something potentially paranormal ourselves. Take a look. We've all seen and come to love our horror movie cliches. I remember hearing someone running down the hallway to my bedroom. From found footage to jump scares. And then they kicked the door open. But for Darren Dykehouse, But no one was there. It's actually based on a true story. There are any spirits here? And nearly six years of Lakeshore Paranormal. Hello. Has brought him to Lake Forest Cemetery over a dozen times. I've done a lot of videos here before. I've seen figures out of the corner of my eye from time to time. Um, we, yeah, it's it's pretty active here. Some of his stories. I've been poked, scratched. Enough to make you hide under the covers. You know, there's something there. And many of them just plain unexplainable. Some even say they can have the power to drain a battery, or corrupt you know, hard drives or this and that. So unexplainable that this is the second time we've interviewed Darren. I mean, it's happened to me quite often. The first time was at Nunica Cemetery and all of our clips mysteriously disappeared. So this is the spirit car. I mean, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> they probably wiped everything out. Just part of the job for Darren left our photographers shocked. It doesn't show up in our source browser. The only thing left from that visit is a couple of phone clips. And it's been kind of going ever since. Yeah. But even those are randomly changing color from a yellow tint to a chilling blue. I'm Darren. What is your name? And even though there may be skeptics. What I would tell people is it's really about their own experiences. Sometimes the biggest cliches turn out to be true. You know, I just want to communicate and find more about the afterlife. And a good scary movie. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us? Won't leave you. <laughs> Sounded like you said go home. <laughs> yeah. Without a twist. Again, his channel is Lakeshore Paranormal. Darren does take suggestions for haunted locations. He also says he makes house calls if you're experiencing something spooky at home. You had a not so friendly ghost. Julie. Yeah, I'm never going back there ever. I, ever. I, I don't blame you. Looks like somebody cut this tree down. Pretty noisy out this morning. Had the honor of meeting WZZ on 13, the local news here. Did a little bit of an interview. If there's any spirits here that would still like to communicate with me, just come up to my camera. Talk to me. Sometimes walking along here, I'll get a spike around here. When you come do an investigation, does it really matter the time of day? Because a lot of um, times people do overnight. Right. Um, right. Um, the whole thing about the night is it's more quiet, obviously. You know, but for me, I seen the woman in the white dress. It was probably only about 4 p.m. in the afternoon. Right. So for me, I mean, my experience is time doesn't matter.
Every time I come here, it looks different though. They always do something to it. In what way? Mm, looks like they're building something over there. Used to be a lot more trees in that direction. Take a look at that thing. That's pretty. And you said uh, you're an empath, so do you ever get kind of like called to like, like this, like you just kind of something like that? This is fascinating. Yeah, I feel like there was a calling for me. I really do. I feel like, you know, maybe this was meant for me, I guess. Uh, you know, I pick up on a lot of energies and, and stuff like that. And, you know, having activity throughout my whole life and childhood. You know, when I'm little like that, it, you don't know, you know. So you have experiences, but you just kind of toss it out and just think you're young and having nightmares or something. But, you know, as I grew older, I had a real good medium friend of mine, whether people believe mediums or not, but I've had her basically confirm some of the experiences I've had throughout my whole life, which definitely was the nail in the coffin for me. So yeah, so to speak. It's true, I've yeah, seen right? pictures of that early in um, like the 1900s that people would come out and have their lunch or picnics and... Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. They built recently a picnic table back there. I'm thinking, who in the right mind is going to come out here for a picnic? And if you're saying that sounds comfortable with this kind of stuff, <laughs> then no one should be doing it. <laughs> yeah. Earlier, nope, no. I was gonna say if you want to communicate with me, you don't, or you do. There's something else you'd like to tell me? Earlier I had this thing on and you said Melissa. Is there a Melissa here? Who's Melissa? Certain. Certain? Certain about what? something hard to say it's pretty noisy today
try another thing. I'm gonna try a spirit box. Somebody would like to talk to me. Is anyone else here with me? Thank you for communicating. I know it's so loud here today. If you could try. If you have the energy to sell yourself, that would be amazing. Loser calling. this way. Can you follow me over here? Might be a little quieter over here. You keep cutting down everything. What is that noise? Is that you? I just felt like major lightheaded right now. Something pulling my energy. Who's taking my energy? You are. Can't take my energy right now. There's a girl here, a little girl here named Emily. Emily, are you here? Buried here. Not just you. Who's the woman in the white dress? session. Thank you so much for communicating with me. Goodbye.
Well everyone, it was a quick little episode. I actually came here because I had an interview with WZZM 13 News. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.